in today's video we're gonna go from this to this in a few simple steps. Hi, I'm Mike Lewis, it's been a while, I'm really happy to be here again with you and make a new content for you. So in today's video we're gonna make a cool animation, cool and simple animation. I hope you will like it and without further talking let's go straight to the Adobe Illustrator and then After Effects and of course do some magic. So, the first step, we are gonna go to Adobe Illustrator and make sure that our logo is prepared for the next part. The first thing, I check if every letter is separate, so we can see with this logo, with this Nike logo, the file looks like this, and we need to separate those two letters. Uh, how I do this, I usually duplicate this layer, Ctrl C, and then go to Edit and Paste in place. This is really important because if you just press Ctrl V, you're gonna paste it in a different place. So Ctrl C and then edit, paste in place. And then we're just gonna hide one layer. On this one, I go with a pencil tool and I just draw a simple shape. I select those two shapes and I go to Pathfinder and I click minus front. And we've got one layer. So in this logo we can fix those corners. Okay, delete those unnecessary points. And we've got one letter ready, ready to go. And the second one, we go with the same technique. We've got our file ready to go. So now we need to prepare this uh, for After Effects. How I do this, I usually make sure that every object is separate and now I just press, I just select the whole layer and I go with Release to Layers. And in this way, I also select all those layers and move them to the top. And in this way, you can see that on every layer, I've got a different shape. And that's the way how I usually do this. Okay, now let's go to the magic part and do some nice animation. Okay, so we save the file and go to After Effects. So, in Adobe After Effects, we create a new composition. I usually go with 4K, so we type 3840 width and height 2160. I usually go with frame rate uh, 30. I like the motion, the feel of it, so I will keep it in this way. And duration, usually in the logo animation should be around five seconds so let's put something around eight and press enter and hooray we've got our composition now let's import the file and adobe after effects is gonna ask us if we want to import this as a composition or as a footage we want to import this as a composition so let's press ok and now we click two times here and we've got our composition of course we don't see anything right now why because everything is black let's make sure that our composition background is a bit brighter so i'm gonna just press white color for now and we're gonna copy those layers and move them to our composition and let's also make the background here brighter something like this for now let's make every layer a shape because right now you can see that it's an adobe illustrator layer and if we scale this up we can see those these blurry edges so how to do this pretty simple step press the right mouse button and then go to create create shapes from vector layer select all of those layers and create shapes from vector layer and right now everything nicely converted to uh, shapes so we can delete those previous layers let's put those shapes at the center and now let's create a null at the center so this is really important we want to make sure that our logo is at the center so the simple step how to make sure that it's really at the center not at the right or on the left i just create a new shape layer and i just make a simple rectangle i fill it with a red color i change the transparency opacity to like something about 50%. I make sure that the anchor point is at the center. So I click here the anchor point and just press the command or alt and then place the anchor point at the center. Align the layer at the center. Clicking here, align horizontally and align 
vertically. And in this way I have my rectangle perfectly at the center, but sometimes I cheat this a bit. I want to make sure that visually it also looks appealing, so for me the center is more here. I select layers of our logo, I parent them to a new null object, so I create a new object and parent them like this. And now I can control with the null object the whole layer. Let's make it also a bit, a bit bigger. I press S on the keyboard and I scale it a bit. This looks okay. Let's delay our de rectangle. Also, let's fix it. Just trust your eyes. And now let's create a background because right now we've got a background on the composition. So it's not physically here. So we need to create a new solid layer and let's go with black, but not just a pure black. Let's go with something like this. A pure black color can cause some issues. It's always better to have a bit brighter black, if that makes any sense. And let's create our Nike logo white, just a pure white color. Perfect. And we can rename our null, rename it to control layer, and also rename our layers. Okay, we're gonna start with a shape. So let's hide those layers, select the pen tool, and create a mask on it. So we go and create something like this. And now create a stroke effect. I highly recommend to go to Video Copilot and download this free plugin FX Console. Why? <clears throat> this can speed up your workflow dramatically. Uh, right now, if we want to add the stroke effect, we need to go like effect, generate, and then stroke. But with the FX Console from Andrew Kramer, our After Effects cat, we only need to press Ctrl and Space, and then we've got this nice console when we can just type stroke and we already have our stroke. It's much much faster and I totally recommend this. In here we just go and change from on original image to reveal image. We make the brush size bigger. We also make sure that brush hardness is under 100%. Let's also decrease the spacing and let's see how it looks. We press this icon here on end and create a keyframe and we press the U on the keyboard to reveal this one keyframe. So let's let's put this keyframe a bit further and here and just press the zero, press the space and we can see that we've got our small animation ready. Let's adjust the keyframes. So I'm gonna select those keyframes, press F9, go here and change those points to something like this. We can see that the motion is right faster at the at the beginning and slower at the end. Let's just play with those keyframes to see where it looks the best. Okay, let's make sure that everything is here perfect. Let's add the same effect on the rest of the layers. Okay, so if we have our layers ready, let's also put them in the right place. So the first one is gonna be our main shape. The so wood I think is gonna look nice. We're gonna start with this thing and then the Nike letters will appear. So let's try something. Like I said before, trust your eyes. Okay, this should be nice. Let's create a second uh, layer and change the color of the layer to green just to keep the timeline clean. So in this layer I'm gonna change the color of this shape to bluish and I'm gonna again press the U and I play with those keyframes. I select the last keyframe and I put it a few frames earlier. So in this way we've got this nice second layer beneath our main layer which is gonna create a cool effect. Let's do the same to Nike letters, make sure that the color is also green to keep the timeline clean and also let's change those keyframes.
Okay, you can see that my timeline is lagging a bit. If you want to have like a smoother timeline, you can go from full to, for example, third, and the quality is worse, but only on the preview window here. But you can see the motion is smooth. Let's add even more motion. Let's also parent those green layers to main layers. So here I'm gonna parent this logo to this, A to this, K to this. So in this way, if I for example change the scale of this main shape layer, you can see that also the second layer with a new color is also scaling. And we want to have this because we want to add a bit more motion. So let's keep the scale here on 100%. And at the beginning of our revealing, let's make it like 70. And you can see that right now we've got a motion and also the stroke, which is revealing our layer. Fantastic. Okay. So again, select keyframes, press F9, go here and here and voila. Let's see. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. We can also add a small motion to these few letters. So press those letters, press S, and also scale them a bit. 85%. This small motion is gonna make our animation a bit more appealing. Yeah, that's nice. And I also recommend this small plugin. It's a free plugin, easy copy. What it does is like you can copy those values, those values that you played here and just paste them to those keyframes. There's also one thing, just to make sure that everything is perfect and we don't have any errors. You can see that there are some purple small lines, pixels, and we don't want this. What is causing this is because we've got those layers beneath those white layers. There's a one simple trick to avoid this, just go to the purple layer and find an effect which name is a simple checker. I use the effects console again, but if you want to go from here, you can go to effect here and then simple checker. What this effect does, you can see that if we increase this value, our layer is getting a bit smaller. And we want this because right now, if we also turn on the white layer, we don't see the purple shape anymore. We just copy this effect and paste it on every purple layer. And now to add this mm. effect, let's go to our to the purple layer and add the glow. I highly recommend this plugin. It's such an amazing thing and what it does is mind-blowing. It is called Deep Glow and you can see what it does. It adds this nice and perfect glow. And we want to add this at the beginning, so let's play with our exposure value. Let's also put it on the rest of the layers. Okay, and that should be it. When I'm done with my animation, I like to go and create a new composition and place the first one there and add scale effect and just scale the whole thing. Now we can see that we've got our background. So let's just copy the background from here turn off here the visibility and paste it here. And also let's paste those keyframes with Easy Copy plugin. And we've got this additional motion, which is really, really nice. And that's it for today's video. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something from it. If you like it, please give a like, comment and subscribe to see more of this kind of videos. You can follow me on Instagram. The link is down in the description. And of course, have fun and to the next time. Bye.